Hi, good morning, and welcome to another module. So for this third module, we're going to cover two continents, North America and Africa. So I have chosen only one um, representative for each um, area because uh, I'm considering that this week is mid midterm exam week and also we have covered how many texts last week? I think five, right? Sonnet 116, 130, there's Romeo and Juliet, there's Les Miserables, and also Divine Comedy. So there were five, five texts actually. So for this week, we will only have two, all right? Good news, right? And then next week, we will have three, okay, for for the last module. So uh, for North America, we're going to cover Edgar Allan Poe. So Edgar Allan Poe uh, lived or was born in 1809 and he died 1849 and he was from Boston, Massachusetts. Edgar Allan Poe is the father of the short story. So I think you're already familiar with him and uh, his works are known for uh, being macabre or gothic. So that's the genre of his short story. And he's famous for poems such as Annabel Lee and the Raven, and also of fiction works, uh, usually short stories such as The Fall of the House of Usher, uh, The Cask of Amontillado, and the one that we're going to talk about this week, The Telltale Heart. So yes, uh, the father of the short story is not only a fiction writer, but also a poet. So his poetry is also quite rhythmic and melodic. I actually like... Um, the bells, then there's the raven, yes, and of course, the most famous Annabelle Lee. All right, so uh, the assessment for Edgar Allan Poe is going to be a twist analysis. We're going to do a twist analysis on the telltale heart. So, what is twist? Twist stands for tone, t, tone, and then w, word choice, e, imagery, s, style, and then t for theme. All right, so the T is for theme. So we're going to do a twist analysis. And uh, for this kind of analysis, it's not going to be the entire text, like what like what we did in Romeo and Juliet, but, uh, or, or what we are doing, because you have not submitted your paper yet. Like what we're doing in Romeo and Juliet. So it's not going to be an, the entire text. We're going to only have a paragraph or two from Telltale Heart that, that you're going to analyze, okay? So, um, it's going to be concentrated only on a certain part. So, because of course, the, the other parts will have a different tone, will have a different word choice, or maybe a different imagery, okay, a different style perhaps. But there will be like an overall style, but I want us to focus only on a certain part, okay? So, that's, that's the assessment for Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart. And... The second text, the second work is going to be from Africa, David Diop's poem called Africa. Right, it's quite apt. All right, so David Diop was born in 1927 and he died in 1960. So he was born in France, but his parents were African. Okay, so uh, his mom was a Cameroonian, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, and his father was a Singalese. And he grew although he grew up in France, he lived he spent a significant time in Africa. That's why he's his works, his poems, uh, show a deep empathy for Africa. And uh, he is actually an important writer of the Negritude movement and of the most, and one of the most highly regarded men of letters in West Africa. So David Diop has cemented in his, in his 33 years of life, he has cemented his um, position, his role, in African literature and his masterpiece is actually Africa he also wrote other uh, other works but other poets but he's best known for Africa and for for the for the education students especially those who are English majors um, these works can come out all right in the board exam so Africa actually this poem came out in the board exam when when, when I took it all right, so um, it's not very long. It's only around 23 lines. And the assessment for this one is a reader response type. So, uh, 
of course, on Tuesday, we're going to discuss Africa. So we're going to talk about the meaning, the style, stuff like that. And in response, I would like you to compose a poem, all right? And you're going to perform it, okay? What about it? You need to read the instructions, okay? So I'll be posting the specific instructions on what kind of poem you're going to make. So including the objectives, the time limit for the performance, as well as the length of the poem itself. Of course, the length of the poem is going to... The length of the poem is going to dictate the length of the spoken word performance, right? So we're going to do spoken poetry. And I am excited to, you know, watch your performance and, and listen to your works, of course. And yeah, so those are the only two things that we will be talking about this week. So I'm not going to burden you with a lot because last week we, we had so many texts. So we'll just have two, all right, to give way also for the midterm exams. And so that you will have, you know, enough time to prepare for the literary analysis that you will be submitting by Wednesday. Okay, so we will have, we will have the, the other texts, the remaining modules on the last week of summer class. All right, so uh, hope you guys are are excited for this week and good luck. See you in the in the synchronous meeting on Tuesday. Right, bye bye.